George Galloway, he always seems to snick in to every single one of our programs. It's what George Galloway said. It's basically two cheeks of the same backside, is what he said. Uh, and that's the difference between the political parties. Um, but it was really interesting, wasn't it, uh, Rick? Because people would, would say, after how long Keir's been in the public eye, they must have known him by now. But he talked about his child and how he used to make pocket money from clearing the stones for the local farmers. And he played uh, football with cows and so on and so forth. Uh, do you buy it all from Keir Starmer? I do, actually, because I'll tell you why. He's talking crap and I buy that he's a bullshitter. OK, so, uh, yes, I do buy it. I do buy that he played football with a guy and he maybe collected stones as a kid. But that's not something that you and I would want to boast about, maybe running in a general election. And let me just say this. I'm looking at the transcript for the entire Keir Starmer speech. And I just want to focus on the first two sentences. That tells you all you need to know about Keir Starmer. So think about the great speeches, the great orators of history. Think about the Gettysburg Address. Think about Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream uh, speech. Think about uh, Winston Churchill talking about fighting people on the beaches. This is the first two sentences of Keir Starmer's speech. Thank you all for coming here on a bank holiday Monday at least we're by the seaside. That's how right. Keir Starmer chose to blast <laughs> off. I mean, like that just tells me everything I need to know about Sir Keir Starmer. Well, I'll tell you what, he does go on. There's some wonderful rhetoric later on. And I think we've got chat GPT to contribute a little bit to this because he says we are at a dangerous new point close to crossing a Rubicon on trust not just in politics, but in so many of the institutions that are meant to serve and protect the British people. And he was talking last week when Rishi made the big announcement about July the 4th, and that's when the fireworks, obviously two major stories got pushed down the news agenda. And that was about the post office scandal and uh, the blood scandal. Tracking global corruption and threats that undermine our security. This is The Muckrakers on today's News Talk TNT.